This is State of Michigan versus Imani Bates, 22F1-1396. You may proceed when you're ready. Mr. Haney, your appearance is already in the file. Thank you, Honor. Your Honor, I guess Steve Haney, on behalf of Imani Bates, Your Honor, we would waive any formal reading of the, the charges before Mr. Bates asked that the court enter a uh, not guilty plea. All right, you may address bond. You may address bond when you're ready. Mr. Haney. Yeah, I'm sorry, Your Honor, I didn't hear you. Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Bates, Imani's been a lifelong resident of the community. Uh, he's currently full-time uh, student at Eastern Michigan University. Uh, this is his first um, uh, brush with the law. He has no prior criminal history at all. I would submit to the court, he poses no threat uh, or risk to society and that he would um, certainly be responding and being appearing at future court dates. We'd ask that the court uh, give consideration for a personal bond. I don't have a problem with a personal bond. I disagree that there's no threat. The nature of these particular charges are inherently dangerous. That's why we have laws regulating this kind of thing is so that people have training and licensing and um, proper knowledge so that there, this, the, there is not a danger to the community. These kinds of charges are um, inherently dangerous. But um, I think that Mr. Bates is a good candidate for a personal bond, nevertheless. Personal bond, Mr. Bates, means that you don't have to pay any money to leave the jail today. Um, sorry, one second. Your court date will be on uh, probable cause conference on October 6, 2022, approximately 9 a.m. That will be over Zoom. While you are on bond, you're not to use illegal drugs. You are not to purchase or possess firearms, weapons, or ammunition. Do not leave the state of Michigan without permission of the court. Um, when when does travel for basketball start? Not, not until after that court date, right? It would be after that date, Your Honor. Okay. Um, I think... No criminal behavior while you're on bond. Any questions about the bond conditions, Mr. Bates? No, no. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Haney? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. McDuffie, did you want to say something? Your Honor, just, um, I think it's understood, but um, nicotine does not usually come up, but he was underage in this case. So just a reminder that those conditions should also include no use of nicotine as well. Well, I'm not, I mean, I think the condition is no criminal behavior. So. Okay. Mr. Mr. Uh, Bates, what we're talking about then is it's illegal for you to use tobacco. It's illegal for you to uh, use marijuana. It's illegal for you to use alcohol. All right. In addition to the things that are illegal for all of us, like street drugs and um, committing things that are more obviously crimes. You understand? No criminal behavior. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. I think that's it. We're all set. Thank you, Honor. Have a good day. Thank you.